title of my album is You're Stronger Than You Know. And I liked it because I've been through a lot in the last few years and it sort of summed up. I've got more strength in me than I thought I had to get through it. So, and, and, and also it sounds like an empowering sort of message to hear. I think this album feels like it's the first album in a way, like the first album in the way that I approached it. I wasn't really worried too much about the success, but more more worried about how it made me feel and how I felt about it. I was excited to get back in the studio with great players, with simple songs, and just get in the studio and record and just do it quickly. Not we didn't really mess about. It was like two weeks. I think it was like two weeks all in all. We had a week in the studio and then a week of overdubs or something like that. And it was pretty much done. So the four years I spent writing the tunes was like the time and the thinking part of it. And then the recording part was just fun. So I was excited to make an album that felt open, it made it quick, it was vibey, and people had the freedom to play what they wanted to play, but equally, there's a sort of little bit of a guide there to what we were meant to do. One of the engineers who, who's worked there for years, he was saying like, the Who have played through that, the Stones played through that amp, the Beatles played through this desk. Um, you know, just stuff like that was like, this is amazing. Like we were using gear that's probably, he said it's not been, some of it's not been used in like 30 years or 20 years or something. We're still hiding from those people You can't forgive for what they did You can't hold it on your own But that's no way to live Well, don't be scared, there's no doubt I'll lift you up when you're feeling down Bend your heart, I'll heal your wounds I'll do what no one else could do Told you once, I've told you twice I'll tell you this a thousand times like the burning of the sun Just like the river runs My love goes on I've met Joss uh, quite a few times actually I've met her, I think the first time I met her she inducted me well she actually presented me with the Brit Award um, when I got that and so that was the first time I met her and then I did Coachella Festival and I got her up to do Wonderful World with me I've always loved soul singers and that sort of side of music and I suppose she, she was a more direct link to the music I was trying to make and that's what I liked about using Joss Stone on this track was because she brought some soul to it. Feels like the first time is is literally just a little pop song, really, uh, in my mind. But equally, the lyric is true. You know, the chorus thing about every time is the last time. You know, every time it, we got to that point where I thought I can't do this anymore, uh, I end up trying again and <laughs> doing it again. And, and it's like, yeah, I don't know. She's got this way of sort of uh, getting me to try again every time. I like the play on the words of like every time is the last time, but it still feels like the first time. It's just a pop song, but yeah, the the verse lyrics and all of that is is all very quite true about how we, how you know, it's like we don't always get on like house on fire. You know, sometimes it's difficult, but that's kind of why it works because we're totally different. Until the Stars Go Out, that was written a few years ago, um, but it was about my, my daughter basically, she came home and everyone had been teasing her about being a singer or something because of me. Um, so I tried to write her a song that just let her know that no matter what happens when you haven't got any friends, 
and maybe if, even if I'm not there, I'll be with you in spirit at whatever happens. And that's hard to say it without being ultra personal about what happened. We had a falling out basically and she, she left for a week and I didn't know whether she was going to be coming back uh, and it freaked me out. Um, you know, I was I was with my daughter at home, so and I was taking her to school and like thinking, don't know what's going to happen at the end of the week, and I just sort of tried to write a song that just said how I felt, and that just came out. Probably the first time I ever said in a song something like "You're beautiful" or "I need you" or "I want you around" or "You, you know, I love you" or whatever. Um, and because I'd never said it before, it just felt really real. I still need you. Uh, I wrote quite quickly, actually. I was listening to a lot of old gospel music. Something about the service that I give. Let me be judged by the service that I give. Some lyric about that, and I just, I, I don't know, it just sort of went in my subconscious. I just felt the best I've ever felt recording an album.